love that. I live and I operate in this ring at a higher level. Something nobody else understands. So if it's not perfect, it's not me. And you want to know why it wasn't perfect? It wasn't perfect because of one man. Edge. So yeah, Edge got one. You got one, Edge. You speared me in my ring on my night. And then you point at the sign. It could have just ended there, but you had to point at the sign. You had to make it official. Roman Reigns versus Edge in the main event of WrestleMania. I'm telling you right now, you don't want it. You don't need that in your life, Edge. So I'm going to give you another opportunity. Back out. Beat it. Scram. Get out of here. Don't look back. Go home. You got a beautiful family. You're a father. You're a husband. I don't want to hurt you. I like what you stand for. I, I appreciate your legacy, the comeback, everything you represent, the impossible. It's all great, but I don't want to hurt you. So understand this. Get it through that thick head of yours. This is why. A man like you just doesn't stand a chance against a man like me. You described your universal title defense at Elimination Chamber as nearly perfect. You know what? I I just had to come out and say, from my perspective, I 100% agree. I mean, how magnanimous of you to volunteer to put up your Universal Championship against somebody who'd already gone all the way through an Elimination Chamber match. I mean, you deserve to be celebrated. Damn near perfection. But... I've heard some rumblings about some people who think differently. Who think you coming out immediately after the elimination chamber to defend your championship was cowardly. That to take a man who's been exhausted after fighting for five other men, starting first in the Elimination Chamber, going through hell, and coming out and demanding that the title match start right then, isn't a real champion at all. But, listen, that's not me. That's not me. I don't, I don't come out here and complain or say anything like that. I'm just addressing some of the rumors I've heard from other people. But what I was a little baffled by, and what I wasn't expecting, is for the head of the table to defend his Universal Championship in the second match. I would have thought head of the table would be more like a, a main event spot, or would that have given me too much time? Hmm. So here's the thing. Listen, I was in this ring against you in your very first match in the WWE. I know how good you are. I saw how talented you were from the very, very beginning. And I know that you want to create a legacy, that you want to be the head of the table. And how about this? Here's a chance to make it all right, to prove the doubters all wrong, so that there's no qualifiers, no doubts. There is no comparison between Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan. Because let's face it, there's been a lot of comparisons. You want to end it all? How about this? You defend your Universal Championship one more time. No qualifiers, nothing standing in the way, just one-on-one, -on -one, 
you and me for the Universal Championship at Fastlane. What oh, you yeah. doing out here, DB? Huh? All I hear is a bunch of excuses. You lost. The best of the best beat you. You at the back of the line now, Oos. If you want to get to the head of the table, huh? Go to the right hand man. That's me. I'm going to get you like I get them all. Be careful, Loose, or you're going to get got. After what I did to you, you really want me to hurt you again? Selam Gürüş Türkiye Nokta severler. Lütfen çevirilerimizin devam edebilmesi için kanalımıza abone olmayı ve bildirim ziline tıklayın.